legal prostitution, more cows living in South Dakota than people, great race of mercy, arms deals, largest mass execution in American history. And more interesting facts will be in that episode. Welcome back to the show that digs deep to uncover the strange histories and hidden stories behind the United States. I'm your host Alex Buckley, and today we've got 10 tales of scandal, myth, and mobsters from America's iconic states. From Alaska's life-saving sled dog dash to Roswell's ongoing UFO theories, we'll span the nation looking at the peculiar pasts lurking beneath the surface. Don't let the scenic landscapes and tourist attractions fool you, every state has some shadowy secrets in its closet. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride through the mysterious side of the U.S. in this episode we call Secret States Revealed. At first glance, South Dakota might seem like a quiet rural state dominated by farms and ranches. However, you may be shocked to discover there are actually more cows living in South Dakota than people. With a relatively tiny human population of only 882,235, South Dakota is majorly outnumbered by approximately 1.8 million cows that inhabit the state. In fact, cows exceed the number of people by a ratio of more than 2 to 1 in South Dakota. To put it another way, if you were at a crowded event with lots of cows and people, statistically speaking two out of every three attendees would be a cow. All those cows mean South Dakota has a thriving dairy sector, producing over 270 million gallons of milk per year. That's enough to churn out over 1.1 billion pounds of cheese annually just from South Dakota alone. Besides milk, the massive cattle herd also fuels South Dakota's beef industry, which accounts for 80 to 90 percent of the state's total agricultural income. Beef cattle make up the majority of cows in South Dakota grazing on the state's sprawling grassland pastures and rangeland. Whether it's dairy farms or cattle ranches, cows are an ever-present sight across South Dakota's rural landscape and define the state's agriculture and economy. Unlike any other state in the nation, Nevada is the only one that allows legal prostitution thanks to state laws permitting brothels in certain counties. While famous for the dazzling casinos and nightlife of Las Vegas, Nevada also has a thriving sex industry operating in plain sight. Under state law, prostitution is prohibited in larger cities and metro areas like Las Vegas and Reno. However, regulated and licensed brothels are legal in rural counties with populations under 700,000. There are currently 21 legal brothels open and operating across Nevada mainly located near mining towns and truck stops on lonely highways. These brothels function as legal businesses that are required to adhere to various rules and health standards. Customers come from all over the world to legally purchase sex services in Nevada's brothels, which market themselves as destinations and even offer non-sexual services like restaurants, bars and wrestling events on site. While condemned by some, many defend Nevada's brothels as a safer outlet for regulating prostitution and point to the industry's long history in the state dating back to the 1800s boomtowns and mining camps. The 1925 serum run to Nome gained fame as the Great Race of Mercy, where 20 mushers and over 100 sled dogs heroically transported diphtheria antitoxin 674 miles by dog sled across Alaska in just six days, saving the isolated town from an epidemic. The only way to get the serum to Nome in time was using sled dog teams racing against the clock in hazardous Arctic conditions. Guder Kazan and his lead dog Balto became celebrities as news spread worldwide of the courageous life-saving sprint. Today, the Iditarod race honors the heroic 1925 serum run, following part of the same route from Anchorage to Nome. However, Balto's fame was unjust the longest and most hazardous leg was actually led by another dog named Togo. Despite this controversy, the perilous 1925 dash to deliver medicine inspired the Iditarod, showed the world the power of sled dogs, and cemented Alaska's legend of endurance. 
Hawaii's isolated location made it the perfect place for wealthy Americans to secretly broker arms deals and overthrow governments during the 20th century. Far from the mainland under minimal government control, Hawaii became a hotbed of covert U.S. operations. Arms dealer Fritz Weidman used his Honolulu home to store weapons like Tommy guns and broker $1 million worth of arms bound for the 1941 Iraq coup. In 1953, Pineapple tycoon James Dole helped lead a secret U.S.-backed coup to overthrow Guatemala's president. Wealthy Americans in Hawaii supplied air power. Dole also may have convinced the CIA to oust Cambodia's Prince Sihanouk in 1970. Thousands of miles from oversight, Hawaii was an ideal hub for fueling secret American coups and weapons deals during the 20th century. Las Vegas glitzy casinos have long been linked to mafia schemes, skimming profits, and suspicious murders conveniently written off as suicides. Mobsters like Benjamin Bugsy Siegel, Meyer Lansky and more built Vegas in the 1940s 50s. Behind the scenes, the mafia controlled the profits through kickbacks, voter fraud, and illegal bankrolling. Casinos became hotbeds for money laundering schemes. When casino revenue came up short, mafia members were found dead, like when Ted Binion was mysteriously discovered overdosed in 1998 right before he faced theft charges. Vegas mob-founded casinos enabled shady fortunes to be made and disguised. Thanks to lax regulation, the Vegas Strip became a magnet for mafia activity drawn to the neon signs, showgirls, and suitcases full of cash. New Mexico's Roswell landed in the spotlight thanks to a strange 1947 incident where a crashed UFO and alien bodies were allegedly recovered, only to be covered up by the government. In early July 1947, a rancher discovered unusual crash debris on his property. The local Air Force base released a statement claiming a crashed flying saucer was recovered, sparking a media flurry. However, they soon retracted this, saying it was merely a downed weather balloon. Witnesses have since claimed they saw alien bodies hauled away by the military. Speculation exploded that the government tried concealing evidence of a UFO landing. The mysterious incident transformed Roswell into the epicenter of conspiracy theories involving extraterrestrial spacecraft and alien encounters. Attempts to explain the crash as weather balloons failed to satisfy many UFO believers. Roswell's name became forever linked with the possibility of a secret government alien cover-up. In the largest mass execution in American history, West Virginia hanged 16 people at once in the notorious Mingo County mine wars of the 1920s between miners and coal firms. Tensions boiled between miners seeking safer conditions and living wages versus powerful companies exploiting workers to maximize profits. When 10 union miners were killed, law enforcement aligned with the coal firms to target union organizers. In 1921, 16 men were swiftly arrested and convicted by dubious military tribunals for murder of the sheriff, despite lack of evidence. Within just two weeks, all 16 were executed by hanging on August 19, 1922. The hasty trial and mass execution outraged the public as an authoritarian miscarriage of justice. While nearly forgotten today, the Mingo County Mine War spotlight West Virginia's dark history of violent clashing between mine workers and industry bosses hungry for coal. California ended up with some of the strictest gun laws in America partly due to Black Panther armed patrols in the 1960s. When the Black Panther Party formed in Oakland in 1966, they organized armed neighborhood patrols to protest police brutality. Openly carrying weapons, the Black Panthers invoked both the Second Amendment and their right to self-defense. Alarmed lawmakers responded by restricting open carry rights across California. The Mulford Act of 1967 was introduced specifically to end Black Panther armed patrols by prohibiting loaded firearms in public places. 
California's strict gun regulations today trace directly back to the Mulford Act's crackdown on the Black Panthers' constitutional displays of firearms. The history reveals an irony marginalized groups exercising gun rights prompted tight limits for all Californians. Frontier Wyoming was notorious in the Old West for the lawlessness of the Hole in the Wall Gang, a band of ruthless outlaws like Butch Cassidy who robbed trains and banks before vanishing into the vast wilderness. Between the 1880s to 1910s, the Hole in the Wall Gang and its constantly shifting members hid out in a nearly unreachable valley in the Big Horn Mountains. Using the rugged landscape as their escape route, the gang terrorized the region, hitting the Union Pacific Railroad multiple times. Charismatic leader Butch Cassidy led the gang until a botched train robbery forced him to flee to South America. The Hole in the Wall gang came to symbolize Wyoming's Wild West days of train holdups and vigilante justice. While Wyoming moved on, the Hole in the Wall Valley remains shrouded in myth over its infamous days sheltering Butch Cassidy's brazen crew of bandits. Mob kingpin Al Capone took over Jekyll Island on the Georgia coast as a secret retreat for drinking banned liquor, gambling, and scheming during Prohibition. Far from Chicago, out of reach of the law, Capone's Jekyll Island hideaway allowed him to keep running his booming bootlegging operations under the sun in Georgia. Capone could relax with liquor, mistresses, card games and bodyguards without police raids. His years vacationing on Jekyll Island in the 1920s 30s let Capone escape Chicago to keep the booze and money flowing unchecked surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. To this day, the posh Jekyll Island resort community seems totally at odds with its raucous glory days hosting the most notorious gangster in America during the Prohibition era. Well those were 10 absolutely insane facts about U.S. states. Who knew America's state geography and history could be so shocking and surprising? Let me know in the comments which state fact blew your mind the most. And if you're from one of the states in this video, share a crazy local fact about your home that the rest of us may not know. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell to see new episodes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.